woman now leaves the fight.
These will keep. They must be awesome. They put their stamp in this place. Take them out to the car, Jack. Like their isolation makes them better off. I wonder who that is. <laughs> well, well. Always told Durval a woman would undo him. And he had it coming. <laughs> I've calluses older than you. I have calluses enough if you want to test me. <laughs> she sparks. I believe it, Flamehair. Petroforge woman. Uh, Aloy. Machine hunter. Hmm, machine hunter, eh? I could have a use for you. Straight of it is, we're being muscled out of our own claim. That's why I've been working on this scrap-spitting beast. It's a dispute settler. What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal, and the dust storms. And the Heap's back there. A scrapyard, piled by Osram past, from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in. Get the smell in you. Smoke and sweat. <laughs> Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I can taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. Was it a battlefield? Hmm, stockpile maybe, or a rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. But don't you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah. Some Delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shafts. <laughs> Careful, you'll scald your tongue with that fire. I don't pine for the old ones. They had their time. Their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the Forge will make a new world. So you're a Forge woman. You run the Forge and the town too. The town is the Forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it, without all the Eeldermen having their say. If we were back in the claim, Osram land, three days argument, any time someone wants to hammer in a bolt. Sounds infuriating. Oh, <laughs> it is. But we like arguing. You need hot air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up for debate. I would have ended up Petra Forge wife. <laughs> How do you like the sound of that? <laughs> I don't think it fits you. Good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. Could make anything of myself before I cooled in my ways. So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. So I spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osram camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. A place to leave my mark. <laughs> when I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> trade secret this weapon you're working on I've never seen anything like it your design hmm see my face in it can you this one's mother helped reclaim Meridian back in the day a job like that isn't done with strategy they needed to shake the walls turn the mad Sun King's army to blood and feathers what's that face for weapons with such power <laughs> it's not the weapon flame hair it's the wielder if that siege had touched the Great Elevator, they'd have answered to me. Good work, that elevator. Story in every chain link. I'll make you suffer them one day if you like. This beast doesn't have a story yet. Too heavy to carry, eats metal like a snap maw. You said you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came snuffling in just after we opened a good seam of weapon parts. And now we've got a standoff with a gang of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. 
They're sitting on our power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. In and out job. Keep your hands clean. I'm not afraid of getting them dirty. <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows?
business. happen again. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where'd you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor! I ordered him to stay put! I'll throw him in irons! He's dead. What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten, dirt wad of a brother! Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glint Hawks? Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? 
I'll take that as a no. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glintocks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap. Not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glinthawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glinthawks? If I ever get a break from him, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hogs to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bung. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Why don't I investigate why the Glinthawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A carch is behind all this. What are you doing? By the sun! It won't turn off! That device is making the Glinthawks attack. Turn it off. Me? I don't know how to turn it off any more than I know how I turned it on! I scrounged it from an old workshop. <sighs> well, that should do it. Now start talking. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those Glinthawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world, as we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh. No, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glinthawks? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. But, after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess.
That car just said the workshop was near his campsite on the eastern ridge. Here's the scrounger's campsite, so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. Yeah. <sighs> 
Good news.
better find the stable at even more Solved. Now I better find and disable any lures. Done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. So Durval was behind these lures. Brilliant and dangerous. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff.
You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliffe and my family, I thank you.
Nice. To a good hunt. Thank you. Everything shines a little brighter now. Thank you, Nora, for saving me. Tough, but I'm used to it.
That'll help.
don't scare me. <sighs> Bandits have a good defense. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells. There, a power cell. Now to get into the scrapper's run and find those weapon parts. You'll get yours when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched. Thank you. 